Capricorn, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. We're going to go over the astrology this week, and it's actually quite unique. It is not something I've, I've experienced before, um, but we're going to go through what it means for you, Capricorn, and how the energies are going to impact you. This is uh, your reading, so please take it how it resonates and apply the energies that I describe to where and how they resonate in your life. You might want to also check out your moon sign video, your rising sign video. There's also an extended video that dives deeper and gives more details. So I hope to find you there as well. I will attach the links below in the description box, as well as above at the end of this video and um, in, the, in the comment section. I'll pin it to the top of the comment section as well. Um, this is Born Without Boundaries Tarot. So thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Michelle. For those of you who are just finding me, I also have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, where I go live Monday through Friday, and we have open live chats while I'm doing a general tarot card reading. I hope that you'll join me there as well. Maybe you might want to check it out even today. Um, let's get into your reading. I'm going to sprinkle this reading with astrology. Um, the astrology is going to be between December 21st and December 28th. Um, but whenever this reaches you, whenever the energy reaches you, this message will come to you when you need it. So even if it's a year from now, that's okay. Um, I do have two cards in front of me. Let me tell you why I think the astrology is so intriguing. Um, because for the most part, Saturn remains untethered this week, just like it was last week. I encourage you to check out last week's video because it was awesome. <laughs> um, and now it's largely that you, the Saturn, your ruling dignitary, uh, remains untethered, which it remains unaspected um, after the new moon. And this new moon is going to be quite impactful for you because forget about what Saturn is doing. So many planets and so much energy is in Capricorn. You could feel overwhelmed. You could also feel very powerful. On the new moon, which is on the 23rd, um, which is in a couple of days from now, there will be Venus. Um, I believe the Ascendant is in Capricorn. Um, Mercury. There's also Pluto that's going to be there. The Sun and the Moon. So you have six major astrological points of interest. And uh, I think it's Pluto, Mercury, five planets in Capricorn. So if you feel like a overwhelmed with energy and overwhelmed with stuff going on or with everybody coming to you to try to fix things for them, believe me, this is the time when you got to like grit your teeth and get out your managerial skills and don't give up on yourself. One of the biggest and most consistent, like the only consistent aspect after the new moon to Saturn is a semi-square with the sun, which means just being relentless, having relentless drive and, and setting your goals and just determination. The other thing that's really interesting is the only other major aspect is the moon. As it, as it moves through the zodiac, will sextile Saturn, it will trine Saturn, it will, it will square Saturn at one point. So it's like these emotional, it's like trust your intuition because that's what the moon is. The moon is even, yes, you, it's your intuition. Trust your instincts, trust your intuition. There will be a lot of things that come up that you're just going to have to rely on it because you may not know, but you do know because your experience and your memories. And that's what intuition really is. It's your experiences as well as your DNA's experiences that, that it sits inside of you so that you know and understand things that you may not know and understand how you know and understand but trust it because it's going to be tried and true and it's going to be one of the only companions that's helping you through um, all of this energy and all of this responsibility that you can feel is going to be heaped on you this week by the end of the week, Venus will leave Capricorn and you'll start to feel a little less of the kind of just, it's not even bad. It's just so much all at once. Um, maybe you're going to have a lot of guests coming over for the holidays. That will probably be absolutely true. But there's a sense of devotion and trust with your own intuition that is, I think, really, really important for you. And by the end of the week, you're going to start to see the air starting to clear and things starting to get a little bit lighter and you'll be very, very happy that you trusted your intuition. Let's get into the cards. Magic works through you. Yeah, and this is Capricorn energy. 
And um, I'm sorry, and this is Cancerian energy. So this is you in the home. And I think you could be very active and involved and engaged in the home right now. And I think maybe in a lot of ways, you are helping to be the center of the family and build the family and um, bring the family together. Um, because this is fourth house energy, but you're also changing it. And they're all, it's, cha it's your changes. It's changes that you are making. And they're positive ones. It's happening through you. It's your vision. I don't think you're dominating or taking over. I think people are actually seeing what an asset you are, to be honest with you. But this has to do with a lot of, if you are a mother, your maternal energy, your maternal instincts, um, your maternal drive. But this is dealing with your family and, and changing, allowing it to change. This is also a transition that you're going through and maybe for the first time this year, you actually feeling solid and seeing yourself in these new roles and in this new world that you've created and built um magic works through you is that you're going to be the go-to for everything be fearless and bold this is the second one so you got cancer energy here and you got aries energy here both of them are relentless in their own way but both of them are cardinal energy which means that you are taking steps forward you are creating something you are the creator of this brood and of this new life i think you may be even starting a new family whether that means rearranging your own family or developing your own family constructing uh, I don't know, different kind of family changes or bringing a new life into this world, there is a sense of now you are reborn. Now you actually feel like you are a new version of you and that your life has legitimately started over. I think there were a lot of growing pains this year. Now these are birthing pains because the baby is here. And I think that's really beautiful, actually. I want to get a moon card for you guys. I want to get a moon card for you guys. Ah, there's a couple that have fallen out. Believe in the impossible, dude. I love this week. This is so good. Believe in the impossible um, because it's happening. Because this is the manifestation of a lot of hard work, a lot of determination. It's almost like the fulfillment of something you've been chasing through your intuition. And until now, you haven't been able to hold it or touch it. And you'll be able to hold it and touch it this week. This is really good. <laughs> yes, it is. A win-win outcome is forecast. This is Libra energy. The scales are balanced, which means finding a solution that works for you, that works for your partner. This is also equal partnership. Um, this is believe in the impossible because the impossible is about to happen. This situation is actually going to be resolved and somebody it's going to be very fair and it's going to be very respectful. And there's a way for everybody to win that you have discovered and found believe in the impossible. A win-win outcome is forecast. In some ways, this could be your determination and your optimism knowing I can make it work. I know I can make it work. And let me tell you something. If you know you can make it work, then it can actually absolutely work. You are absolutely correct. You can make it work. And I'm telling you, you're going to be relentless until you find that solution that you know you can make work, <clears throat> which makes me super, super psyched to have a Capricorn as a best friend, because that's one of the things that I think is just so magical about you is this this fierce determination and practical application of all your skill sets and all your knowledge and you're gonna fucking make it work and i love it time to let go this is being ready to release heartache or heartbreak or sadness um letting it go and part of making things work is letting go of the things that you cannot handle so it's saying that if you can't handle it and you know it doesn't work for you or it's not adding to your solution let it fucking go peace the fuck out even if things are really bothering you there's a sense of you'll be able to let those emotions go you'll be able to put them in their place and see if they're helping or not helping this is also getting rid of some fears that you've sat with for quite some time. You know, some some things that maybe have been sitting on your chest. I think now is the breakthrough moment when you finally realize um, I don't have to be afraid anymore. <laughs> 
I don't have to be worried anymore. Um, and this and that are true. This comes from seeing somebody else's perspective. This also speaks to this energy, which means you are, <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> You're coming to a conclusion. You're coming to work something out. You're able to actually agree on something with somebody who means a lot to you or or make a truce, you know, or make a compromise. Not, not that compromise is bad, like in a good way, like a saying, okay, this is what works for both of us. Like find something that you're both psyched about, especially if this is partnership, you will absolutely be able to do it or you will come up with a brilliant idea that will help on a global scale that is going to fix a lot of problems a lot of a lot of things that nobody else has been able to find a solution to this could be a huge breakthrough moment <clears throat> it's coming through Capricorn let's get into some details Capricorn 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 let's get the details who is this that we're dealing with? Oh, this is the home. This is building your home. Situations with regards to the home, investing or putting money in your house or making money from your house, maybe selling your house if your house is on sale or you want to sell your house, it coming in really quickly. Or there's money. There's money that's going to be agreed upon or a lot of opportunities to make money. So there's also a sense of maybe take these take this opportunity. There's a lot of opportunities coming to you this week. So it's all got to do with the ability to not just make money. Ten of Pentacles isn't just making money. It is nurturing money, cultivating money, like, like not just investing, but making money out of your money and realizing that you have this beautiful foundation and that all the opportunities that brings to you. So it could be like, yeah, it just could be like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know specifically. Leave your comments below. I would love to know how it's working out in your life. We have Capricorn, Capricorn temperance. This is definitely finding a way to make something work that seemed impossible just by um, adopting a new mindset or looking at things from a perspective that wasn't yours. Um, maybe just being interested in somebody else's culture. Um, this could also be deciding to go abroad broad or um, speak a different language or, or just it's like opening your mind to things that are different but but in a way that you're fascinated by them in a way that they excite you in a way that this is kind of an adventure that you're looking at it as um, you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius like things starting to come through or work out for you if you are dealing with a Sagittarius or taking action or, or, or yeah, yeah, did taking action, like, like making your moves. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, we have four of wands here. So maybe there is coupling here or getting ready for a wedding or a celebration that you have been working on for quite some time. Seven of pentacles here, I don't think is that, or, or, or it could be that it may take more time than you think. Um, maybe somebody isn't as ready or where you are as you want them to be. So it could move slower than you're prepared to go right now. Seven of Pentacles for me just means that there's going to have to be more work done because whatever you're proposing right now wasn't working out or you're addressing what wasn't working. And you're that that's what it is, I think. You're finally, whatever wasn't working, you now figured out the things that were keeping you stuck and like, why isn't this moving forward? You have found the solution for, and that solution is through somebody else. It's through partnership. It's through letting somebody else help you or letting other people, yeah, let, let other people help you. If you have people over your house, like let them help you. Let them bring some of the food. Please don't try to do this all of your, all yourself. This might be one of the biggest lessons for you this week is that you're not alone. And once you see that, you'll learn to like make everybody function in their own capacity is the solution to the problem and figuring that kind of stuff out. Like, like everybody doing their part, right? Figuring out how to make everybody do their part. Um, but this is also a sense of like seven of pentacles is, you know, you, you were grinding and something wasn't making sense. And no matter how hard you tried, you continued to fail. I don't see it necessarily like that. I just think that there's just a build here and that there's a learning curve here. Um, what it says is because it came out the four of wands, you were finally able to make something work that you have been 
trying to make work and that ha you haven't seen a lot of progress in. Well, you're going to see a lot of progress now because there's the Eight of Wands and there's the Ten of Pentacles and then there's the Eight of Pentacles. So this could be in a job, a job like that you're going to really like. And maybe this is why it never came to you before because none of that would have satisfied you. But now you know where to apply your skills and now you know... Um, um, now you know what you like and what it actually you want. So if this was about internal comp contemplation, then, you know, I don't know where to put my energy. I don't really know what I want right now. This would be the clarifying moment of knowing what you want, knowing what you enjoy, why you enjoy it, why it's enjoyable to you, and ultimately loving what you do. I think you're going to be applying all of your skill sets and focus um, into what really gives you joy this week. And that makes me happy. We have the new moon and that's, it's come out. This is Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces, in which case you are making things work out or figuring things out. This is somebody who speaks a totally different language than you. So maybe you finally learned their language. And that's exactly like that. That changes everything. It's like all of a sudden now the, mis the mystery is solved. And now I know I can figure this out. And you really can. Um, this is also a time frame. It's saying that around the new moon is when all of these things will be happening and working out for you. When this discovery breakthrough op opportunity will come to you. Um, the new moon is also about intuition. And tr I mean, I'm sorry, the moon card is also about trusting your intuition. Those things that not were hidden, but you didn't really understand completely. And maybe sometimes you can't understand them. It's almost like accepting that certain things are always going to be a mystery, but finding peace with that mystery um, is part of the solution. It's part of almost, you're, it's almost like you're learning to enjoy it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Let's get more details. Two of Wands is here. You are able to look forward to the future. There is hope for the there is hope for the future. But you're also starting to see that maybe you want to go somewhere else. Maybe you're planning a trip, you're planning a journey, you're planning a change. Now you know where what you want. I think this week it becomes very clear how to do it. Maybe you're ready to move. You're ready to take this new step. A lot of this is planning and preparation work. So you're doing a lot of prep planning um, and, and finding stuff that works for everybody. In fact, what happens this week is going to uber expose all the things that that's the thing, that's the link. That's the link. This week and everything that you incur or experience this week is going to teach you what you need to know for what you're planning in the future. And I feel like you already know what you're planning in the future, but it's by observing everybody and their personality and all their behavior this week that you're going to be able to figure it out for the future and figure out how to make it work because they'll reveal things to you and, and what they require and those requirements are all going to be very, very clear after this week. It's almost like this week is a trial run or a preview for what is going to come. And it's beautiful. It's exciting. It is an adventure and it's a whole hell of a lot of work. But from what the cards say, it's work that you will absolutely enjoy. I want to go to the extended Knight of Pentacles. So that could be a job offer or an opportunity. It's committing yourself to something long term that you've committed yourself to. Um, of great value because the star card is here. Oh yeah, you've worked for this for some time. And it's almost like in some ways you've wanted this and you've wished for it and now it's here. And this is the reality of it. And I'll tell you this right now, and this is why it's so good to be Capricorn right now. Everybody else, reality hits hard. You, reality hits like a prize trophy. You fucking love reality. This is your world. Capricorn rules the 3D world. That's what it rules. It rules the, the world of, of five senses, three dimensions, and karma. It's this world. So it's almost like when things get real, everybody else kind of freaks out because it doesn't add up to their fantasy. But for you, reality is the fantasy. <clears throat> and to see all of these things actually happening is going to give you so much joy and so much feeling of sort of accomplishment and faith again, like renewed faith. And wow, this was all going somewhere the whole time. And now here it is. 
and it is, it is here. Yeah, you've worked for this for a long time and you're actually gonna start to see it play out in front of you. Whatever you have planned, whatever you have been plotting, um, there it is in front of you to give you to give you joy. The ups and downs of it, the ins and outs of it, the <laughs> everything, there it is right in front of you and you're actually gonna start to realize that this is now part of your future that this is not gonna go away or disappear. Um, and, and I just love this. Let's keep going. I invite you to the extended. I hope to see you there. The link is below.